In a land of hardliners and larger-than-life headline grabbers, Geert Wilders is one of the originals. 17 years after forming the Freedom Party, Wilders won the most seats in Netherlands Parliament. But to form government, he must work with others. I'm very proud. Um, it's, um, I'm very happy and it, it, it brings along a lot of feeling of responsibility. Other far-right European leaders quickly noted his victory, including France's Marie Le Pen. Of course, I welcome this victory. Anti-immigration is a common point for France's National Rally Party and Wilders' Freedom Party. Wilders said the asylum tsunami and migration will be curbed. He previously called Islam a backward religion, and after leading people in a chant against Moroccans at a rally in 2014, he was found guilty of hate speech, but no penalty was imposed. One of the first statements that he's made after the election was that uh, uh, you know, we have to stay within the bounds of the Constitution. So he recognizes himself that some of his more extreme Islamophobic positions are unconstitutional, they might be popular, but they would not be able to be enacted. Experts say when far-right politicians get elected, they can cause a gravitational shift in the political spectrum over time towards the right. Wilders has long advocated for the Dutch withdrawal from the European Union and is not in favor of the bloc of nations expanding. His position could affect discussions next month about Ukraine's membership and funding for its war efforts. Opposition has already been voiced by Hungary and Slovakia, countries also led by far-right leaders. Builders, however, must focus on finding friends closer to home and building a coalition government. Crystal Gamansing, Global News, London.